What's up people? So today I'm over here at the Affordable Buildings of Creek County. I have uh, not been to this lot before and it's also not where I bought my shed to house, but they do have a pretty cool selection over here. So I wanted to uh, just walk around today and just show you some of their options. I don't know if they have the prices or the sizes of these buildings, but I just wanted to show you. If they do, that'd be great. If not, I'll try to do my best to uh, just guesstimate on uh, how big some of these buildings are and uh, what kind of options they have. So. Let's go check out some buildings. So the first building we're gonna check out is a cabin style. It is a 12 by 32 with three two by three windows. It does have a small four foot front porch on here. This is what I was going to go with, but I decided that uh, I feel personally that's a waste of space, uh, especially above it, which you'll see here in a second. There's not much options you could do above the uh, front porch over here, but as you come in, it's nice and open. You have your two two by three windows up here on each side. There are vents on both ends, so you can have plenty of ventilation up there at the top. Looks like it's 16 inch on center. You have your nine light door and another two by three window up here in the front. If this light settles on my phone, you can see up top, that's what I was talking about. Uh, being a wasted space unless you take out that one two by four and just have a little bit of storage up there I'm gonna show you the price and stuff down here. They have it on the floor All right, so this 12 by 32 cabin order total is 12,190 It does have smart panel siding smart panel trim a metal roof three two by three single pane windows and a 36 inch insulated fiber light nine light door so overall it's a pretty good shed 12,190. All right, so we're making our way over here to this big building over here. It does have metal roof. I see some two by three windows in it. Looks like it's almost the same setup, just a little bit bigger. Has the four foot front porch. Nice trim and shutters on the front window. This one looks like it might've been a repo. All right, so it's got uh, the same three windows in it. This one does have a power box already in. Looks like they started doing some uh, electrical work. And it looks like they uh, had a little ramen soup, little campsite over here. Shoot dang, what kind is that? Beef flavor, all right. I like the way these people think. But pretty much same, same way they started uh, foaming up around the uh, front door over here, it looks like. It's hard to see because of the light. But we're gonna come over here to this paperwork. This one is a 12 by 40 cabin, color white, trim is black, black metal roof. Total price on this one is 13,900. All right, we got this monster shed over here, the barn style. I'm really digging the front porch on it, it's pretty big. It's got like a bluish color metal for the roof. Tons of windows. This one looks like it might be a repo as well. Dang, how's somebody gonna lose their uh, fishing string over here? How are they gonna catch some fish? But big windows up here in the front. Nine light door. This uh, building was put on a, a little slant, so it might be a little hard to walk in and oof. Ugh. I'm gonna have to hold my breath on this one. This one stinks. Oh my gosh. This one's definitely a repo. I'm over gagging. It stinks so bad in this one. But there is a, a, a loft over here at the end. I have my shirt over my nose right now. Does have a two by three windows. Looks like a lot of uh, dirt and stuff, moldish, I guess. I don't even know. Looks like they may have tried to put in a bathroom back there. And then I don't know what's going on with this right here, but there's like a loft right here in the middle of the building that's probably about four feet wide. Not sure what they were doing with that. And then over there would be where the kitchen would go with a, a giant loft up top. It's just so dark in here. I gotta read this paperwork and get out of here. It's making me nauseous. This one's a deluxe uh, lofted porch cabin. 12 by 40, it is a repo, and they're asking $13,000 for this one. 
uh, 36 months, you can pay 601, 48 months, 541, and at 60 months, 481. 12 by 40 deluxe lofted porch cabin. I would definitely uh, recommend getting some air fresheners because it stinks. Oh my gosh. It's a nice building if it would be brand new, but you never know what you're gonna get with a repo. Uh, you could probably easily fix it and clean it out, but whoever had that one definitely, uh, I don't know, it smelled like garbage and a wet fart. Ooh. All right, so we're gonna check out this 16 by 40 utility shed. There's a ton of space in this one. It has, uh, I believe, five two by three windows in here. There's no loft, so it does feel much bigger. Tons of space to have a, a big bedroom and bathroom back there, possibly even have two bedrooms in here. It is leaking over there, but that's due to the window being open, not the actual window leaking itself. Just wanted to point that out. These buildings do look like they're made fairly well. Then there's your other two two by three windows, your nine light door in the front. This one is a utility shed. Let's see, 16 by 40. It is white on white with an Arctic white brilliant roof. It is discounted at 17,670. I know some people would probably say that that's too much, but everything nowadays costs a lot more, so you'll be paying extra for your shed as well. All right, we're gonna check out this 12 by 32 lofted barn style. It does have the uh, four foot front porch, two by three window, nine light door, just like most of these. And then it does come with two additional two by three windows. I'm not quite sure what, going on with some of these lofts here I thought maybe that repo they might have done it but can anybody comment down below and let me know what's the point of having a four foot section loft right in the middle of a building I would say for transport reasons but they have like the sheets of plywood and stuff up there as well normally it's like this back here where there's a loft in the back plenty of room for storage or a little bed or something have a small little kitchen or bathroom underneath it Uh, don't get me wrong, these are made fairly well, in my opinion, but my opinion doesn't matter because I don't know much about anything. But yeah, this is just, it's a little bizarre. I'm not sure what's the point of having a loft here in the middle. The loft above the porch on this one, that's the good part about having these, uh, the barn style, you have plenty of room for a, a loft. And then over here, it says it's a 12 by 32 lofted porch cabin. Uh, the building's a charcoal color with white trim, Alamo white metal. The price on this one is 12,490. Just to give you an idea, monthly payments at 36 months, 578. 48 months, 520. And if you do the five years, it's 462 a month. Most likely, I'd probably try to take out the center section if it was me, but comment down below and let me know what you guys think that loft is there for. All right, so this one doesn't have the size or price, but it's the uh, cabin style. I'm gonna guess that it's about a 16 by 40. If we come in here, I already see that it is leaking and it doesn't look like it's leaking from where the windows are, but the windows on this one are better made. Looks like they have a three by three windows. Looks like the thermal pane. One over here in the front. It does have the uh, loft up top, which is uh, most likely going to have to be filled in with spray foam, maybe a small area for storage. Got yourself a nine light door. Looks like it's about 16 inch on center. Another three by three window back here. They did beef these up. If I can get this light to settle. You can see up top they did beef up the, around the windows. And then once again, it is leaking over here in the back from up top. And it looks like these people may have had goats. <laughs> the reason I'm saying they might have had goats because that looks like goat poop. A little too big for rat poop, so. Shoot, dang, you never know what you're going to find. I guess this one was a repo, but uh, there's also some kind of a white powder over here. Don't know what that is. Don't even want to know. But anyways, this one's probably a 16 by 40. 
not bad. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about was that spot back there leaking, but the windows and stuff are much better on this one than on the rest of them so far. All right, we're gonna check out a metal building now. We've checked out a lot of the wood ones. This does have the metal roof, double doors in the front. Let's go inside. Sorry if it's windy and rainy. All right. So this is the first metal building I've been in. Barn style. Plenty of room up top for a little storage or a bed or something. Got your two by three windows. I know it's very dark, I apologize. I'm gonna turn this way, the light should settle. And once again, they got the loft here. So this looks like a common thing for this company with the uh, barn style. Maybe it's just extra support, to be honest, not sure. The walls look like they're, uh, the two by fours are every two feet or so. You get yourself another two by three window right there. And if I sling it back over this way, we'll check out the pricing and size. This is a side lofted barn, 12 by 32. Uh, total price on this one's 10,820. And uh, monthly payments, $500 for 36 months, 450 for 48 months, and 400 for 60 months. It says it does come with a free ramp. Shoot dang. So this isn't a shed, but it's out here. It looks like a little playpen. I guess this dealer does pretty much everything. That's kind of cool for a little kid. I don't think there's gonna be any pricing on that, but I guess they make play pens and other things too. So figured I'd show you that, it's kind of cool. Double decker play pen. All right, and then we had this little shed. Looks like a little storage shed or a little playroom for kids or something, but it's got a little two foot deck on the front. Tiny little window. Look at that thing. A small door. Let's see if I can close it real quick. I noticed that the door does hit right here. Let's see if I can show you real quick. Right there it hits. Just a little bit, not much. But you come inside, you have to duck down. I'm five foot eight and I have to duck down to get inside. These have gotta be the smallest windows I've ever seen. <laughs> It'd be cool for a little kid, for a little playhouse or something, or just an area to park a little lawnmower. They got the double doors in the back. Nice and tall though in the in the peak. Just hard to film in such a small area. Another small little window. And then a small loft up here over the front porch. There was no price or dimension on this, but I would guess it's probably about eight feet wide from front to back, maybe ten feet long. Who knows how much this thing costs, but it'd be pretty cool for like a little kid or something in the backyard. I guess we can go in this one real quick and check it out. Another barn style. They got the barn doors on the front. I'll try to keep the doors open. It shows this one is a 12 by 32 side lofted barn, 10,820. It comes with a free ramp. Let's check out the inside. Basically, it's like that metal one that we had earlier that we looked at, but made of wood. Loft on one side, two by three window. I got some uh, water on my lens. Not bad, decent size, 12 by 32. You can do a lot of stuff with this. And another two by three window over here. All right, we have this one over here that looks kind of like a little cabin with a green metal roof. It looks like it is a repo just based off of, I already see insulation up on the walls and flooring. Seemed like they did a decent job on the floor in here. Just a normal uh, R13 pink insulation. It's a 12 by 24 side lofted porch cabin. It is a repo and they're asking $7,500 for this one. This door has definitely seen its better days. It was white at one point. A little dirty, smells like smoke in here. But if I come back here with a door, this could be a small little kitchen area as the door slings open. Nice size loft up top. Once again, it's dark. Two by three window. And then another loft up top. This is why I wanted a lot of windows in my shed. 
because it's very dark in here. I like a lot of natural sunlight and a lot of airflow. I gotta get out of this one, it's giving me a headache too. It smells just like that last one, just like, just smells like a wet dog, wet fart, and cigarettes. Eesh. I guess I'll go ahead and end this video with this building. This one's kind of cool looking. They put trim down there to look kind of like wainscoting, I guess. Nine light door, two by three windows on both sides. Nice color to it, metal roof. Let's check this one out. This one smells brand new, it smells like fresh wood. This one is a 12 by 20 side utility, $8,200. 36 months is just under 400. 48 months is 340. 60 months, 303. Does come with a couple of uh, two by three windows on that side. You have your nine light door in the middle. And then two, two by three windows on this side as well. So it gets a lot of natural sunlight in this one. Once again, it's a 12 by 20. I could easily turn this one into a little tiny house. All right, guys, so comment down below. Let me know what you think of this company. Uh, which one was your favorite shed? Uh, once again, if you're new to my channel, uh, my brother and I built a 16 by 50, built out a 16 by 50 shed down in Texas. Now we're flipping that property. I'm now living in Oklahoma, and I just ordered a 14 by 32 a uh, utility shed from the Dirksen dealer. Very excited to turn that one into a little tiny house. Once again, comment down below which one's your favorite. Hope you guys enjoy this type of video. I'm going to head over to the Dirksen dealer now for my next video. Stay tuned for that one. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.